Well, hello, ethereal beings and dubious creatures. My name is Item Equipped, and today we are continuing our playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club. We're on episode 17. I'm terrified, and I actually don't even want to record this. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I am a little curious. I'm a little curious. I'm a little scared. Just a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit. Okay. Ribbon. Dazzle. Candy. Love. Kitty. Charm. Sweet. The clouds. Nope. Um. Boop. Papa. Oh, Papa. Uh, Papa? <laughs> uh, um, vanilla? Uh, Doki Doki. Anime. Ooh, that's a cool one. Don't know what that. What if I click that? Do you think that'll just give Yuri? I'm too afraid. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm clicking Buffy. Um, let's see here. These aren't cute. Color? Rose? Oh, ro ugh. got Yuri. Uh, cheeks? Play. <laughs> Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, item. Uh, hi, Yuri. Not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um. Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Mmm, I don't want to go back there with you, though. I straight up don't want to do this. If this is gonna be the thing where she's like, like bug-eyed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. 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 About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just came over me. I guess I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, item, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you enjoyed this club. <laughs> Everything's a little bit brighter with you around, and, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like sitting way back here. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'll calm down. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's in your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Okay, so I thought it was like intrusive thoughts before, but like this just feels like Monica's talking for her. Monica's not here right now. I don't know, doesn't it seem like a little suspicious? But I'll accept your apology anyways, it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, no, not at all, I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kinda weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. <clears throat> sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys aren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long, anyways? Uh, well, my last period today was City Hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano. So to where you played music as well, Monica. Oh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while now, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. 
so I'm still impressed. Oh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. <laughs> That's, uh... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I'll look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, item. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? N not really. Choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki's already run off into the closet. I really don't want to be here with Yuri. Item. Um, since your compliments have me in a good mood, so I feel like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I'd say no to you after the. P no. <laughs> I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. Yes, we're here for Natsuki actually. After we finished reading yesterday, she. She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. <laughs> What's the story about? Oh god, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! <laughs> can I stop? <laughs> can, I, can I stop playing? <laughs> What's the story about, anyway? Well, um, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison, and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh, that may be a little bit of a spoiler. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. <laughs> Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of- That's kind of dark, isn't it? You heard made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Item? No, it's it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenges you to look... Oh, was I speaking in the wrong voice in that last one? Oops. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. <laughs> then suddenly, <laughs> I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> not again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like when it goes in suddenly. It like doesn't do anything when it scares me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm so sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start, ta start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Yeah, she's just passionate about reading, guys. It's just reading. It's just reading. <laughs> That's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? <laughs> mm, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but I'm already sweating so much right now. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. What, what are you saying? <laughs> Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had in my bag. My god, my heart. I'm gonna drink some water. I need to chill. Deep breaths. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. And maybe some coffee. <laughs> I'm not stalling. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm, not stalling. Okay. All right. So, fine if I sit here. <laughs> Slip right into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. Open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I <laughs> realize she's not actually looking at her own book. <laughs> no, I don't. 
<laughs> it looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of your body heat. <laughs> Yuri, you really, Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to, sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? Slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's and hold my book between the... More between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. When Sue leaned in a bit, her shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Why is it forcing us to hang out with Yuri? I literally... I literally specifically, I, I picked my thing for, for Natsuki. I didn't mean to, I hit Rose, I think on accident and it did one for Yuri. There's no way that one for Yuri would put me with Yuri. Why is it forcing me to talk to Yuri? I really don't want to. It feels like my left arm is in the way so I'm sitting using my right hand to hold open the book. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Okay, so this is like, I think this is like the first day thing though. It's not the second day thing. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right arm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Why is she looking at us? Am I ready for what, Yuri? Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page? Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Glance over Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. Don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, are you? I just added so many words there that weren't there. <laughs> I don't mind being patient, patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. I continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. So I just assume she finishes the page before me, so I turn in my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. So romantic. <laughs> hey, Yuri. This might be a little silly thought, but main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. <laughs> no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. <laughs> we didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why they came to my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? <laughs> Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand to her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Can we not follow her this time? Item, did something happen just now? Uh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just says this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing with our, our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and I slip it back into my bag. Oh, this thing changed back to normal. That's good. I guess I'm gonna show to Noski first. I'm, like, sweating. <laughs> Is this all I had to deal with today? Was it just the one jump scare? Am I good now? I'm, like, safe. Am I safe? <laughs> well, it's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Is it because I accidentally, I literally accidentally clicked one thing for Yuri? Did I have to get it perfect? Do I have to start all over? It's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care you spend your time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from every anybody. So it's like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. This is new. So I don't think we did anything wrong. What? Item. 
Why didn't you come read with me today? I wanted to, Natsuki. I didn't get to choose. I wanted to. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why'd you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off associ not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Item, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to make me, do you want me to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Oh my god, hi. You good? Don't ruin it, please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. She just came for me. That was so scary. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cry a little. I was like a little scared there. <laughs> Only a little though. I'm very brave, guys. I'm super brave. <laughs> I'm super cool and brave, and I'm not sweating or crying a little. Um, <laughs> we're shaking. <laughs> um, yeah. Is she, did she die? <laughs> she alive? What happened? Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Monica. Hi. <laughs> I didn't have a snack, Monica. I didn't have a snack for her today. <laughs> Hi again, Item. How's the writing going? <laughs> Hard to focus on my writing right now, Monica. I'm just not able to develop my style with all this going on. <laughs> Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll cope with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Wanna share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. Give my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, item. I was gonna I was going ooh in my head while reading it. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. What is my up what is up with my poem today? I literally I selected like cute, funny, puppy, cloud. Like I didn't do anything different. <laughs> it's so deep. So deep. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I'm so... What did I do? I absolutely picked... Like, cloud, puppy, ribbon, flower. Like, I absolutely picked ones for Natsuki. The only thing I messed up on was I accidentally picked Rose. Which apparently was Yuri. I was just thinking she liked flowers or something. I don't know. I didn't think about it. Did I genuinely mess this all up? Because I accidentally hit one for Yuri? Probably not. I, I'm assuming this game is giving me the illusion of choice. Is this game giving me the illusion of choice? And Monica's like forcing me down the way with Yuri now. Because I absolutely picked things for Natsuki, right? I don't know. I'm overthinking this. Okay. Um, what? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean like it's a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spent so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to be indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all start sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. So I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. I think I read this one, yeah. Save me, the colors won't bright. Beautiful colors, a flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop, villain, grating, shrinking, screeching, piercing, side coasting, tangent, like play Actually, did it, was it always like this? Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Wait, what is, woo? Did it do this last time? <laughs> well, never mind, never mind. This is different. Delete her. Delete her. Delete Yuri. <clears throat> what if I do delete Yuri? It's all the way she's staring at me. <laughs> what if I, like, do delete Yuri? Will that, like, skip everything that's about to come? Because I, like, don't want to see that again. <laughs> 
What if I delete Yuri? Let me know. Should I start the next episode of deleting, deleting Yuri? I would like to. I would very much like to delete Yuri. Okay. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I want to delete your... <laughs> been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, well, there are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> they came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Yeah, okay. Wheel, a rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with an open with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring stakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox. <laughs> I want to know who actually wrote these poems because this is so good. <laughs> a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, <laughs> a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. This honestly feels like AI writing <laughs> Writing a poem. <laughs> um, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. <laughs> a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dark ship to another world. It also feels like if you did, like, predictive text. <laughs> a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer. Correcting a sky of 40 gears and an open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. Sick, Yuri. <laughs> <clears throat> It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind's been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. <laughs> uh, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just, I really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just, <laughs> can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. <laughs> sure, I'll read the special poem. Nothing is real, question mark. <laughs> Nothing is real. Okay, everyone. Always oh, is a boy I have for. Why is that? Is that Sayori? <laughs> Why is it Sayori? Why did you do this? Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Can it stop glitching? Like, chill out, Sayori. Can I, like, hide this? I kind of want to see if it does anything, though. <laughs> We're all done reading each other's poems, right? There's something we need to go over today, so if everyone gets to come sit at the front of the room. Oh, so Natsuki didn't, you know, like, break her neck and everything? Oh, Sarah's gone. You didn't, like, fully break your neck and run at me? <laughs> Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Well, it's not even embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively since Item joined. We started with this club like this. Everyone's so lively. <laughs> But this isn't the time for us to be complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival's our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members, anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. Our members, members will just mean getting more- Everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. <laughs> so hard to speak, I keep- I'm so nervous. <sighs> Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. And that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Item? Uh. Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Item to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? 
Yuri never even talked until item joined. As for me, I like it better here than I do at home. And item isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one so interested in finding new members. I don't think this happened last time. Now you speak it up. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider opinions, our opinions, for once. Monica's clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Item want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to res rescue the situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. Something more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why do I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? It doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Item, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in this club like that. You don't understand it all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being like that for me? There aren't, there aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Item. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean, at least for a little bit of time... Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. <gasps> Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Maybe this did happen last time. <laughs> I remember that. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I would. I would. Um, I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Item? Um, I want to delete you. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> what do you want to get out of this club? I would like to leave. <laughs> he repeats the same question as Monica. It said giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along, and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. And that's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you'd like to help Monica- You good. Her eye is bleeding. If you'd like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. <laughs> Did it just do it again? <laughs> Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki no tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Uh, um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Item? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Item before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me, as president. Yuri, you better go this time. We stayed with you last time. I'd like to speak with Monica. Monica makes me feel a little bit more safe right now. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, good. Oh my gosh, I'm safe. Monica waves as Yuri leaves the classroom. <laughs> Whew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? And I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's getting kind of staticky. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as vice pres or as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing other girl the other girls give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know... <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. It's just uh, some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you can understand. So that's why. No, not yet, no. 
I want to delete Yuri. I want to delete Yuri. I want to delete Yuri. <laughs> okay. So I, I want to say I didn't do anything wrong with the poem. I want to say I didn't do anything wrong with, with Natsuki's poem. I hope I didn't have to get it like completely perfect to spend the day with her. I genuinely don't think I had a choice though. Yuri was kind of like, we're gonna go. And then like, it like cut to her. So I don't think I had a choice, um, which is fine, I guess. I guess it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right, I guess we'll see what happens next time. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my content on Twitch. I do stream every single week. And yeah, I guess with that, the inventory is full. Probably not gonna clean up the inventory, am I? No.